We just moved in our newly renovated apartment a month ago. It's all ruined now. We're absolutely devastated. I'll give you brand new furnishing free of charge. I'll paint your walls for free. Give me the measurements of your cabinets. These words come from a video posted by a netizen from Zhuzhou, Hebei province, and the replies in the comment section. Heavy rain caused by typhoon Doksuri that lasted nearly two weeks resulted in flood, which damaged her new apartment. While human efforts seem inconsequential in the face of natural disasters, the will of people have proven otherwise. We have seen those who worked to wear the tempest head on. The firemen and rescue team members who came to Beijing and Zhuzhou from all over China treated every rescue as a battle. They mount bread in the rain, work hand in hand to form a human rope so that they can help trap residents out from thigh deep water. They trudge for four hours in heavy downpour to deliver supplies to people stuck in paralyzed trains. Number 23, put on that rain boy. This is a lesson he's heard from Wang Hongchun and Liu Jianmin, the two Blue Sky Rescue members who sacrificed their own lives in Beijing's flood rescue efforts. They are also front runners in the relief effort who made many sacrifices to help disaster victims. Xiong Li, a grassroots official from Mental Go District in Beijing, died in the flood while inspecting the flood stricken places at a young age of 36. CBC party members at Shawo Village Matou Town in Zhuzhou stayed committed to their responsibilities. Some had given up sleep for over three days, busy helping villagers. Some waited door to door to help residents escape, and some left even their own families behind. Train K1178, which was headed for Beijing, was stuck for over 40 hours at Yanhecheng Station. All the crew members set aside supplies for passengers, trying to comfort them. The whole crew hadn't eaten anything for up to 20 hours, and the staff from the station had given them everything they had left, two bags of flour. We have also seen small sparks that light up the whole sky. When people from one place are in need, help from various places come along. The disaster-stricken places were in dire need for transportation, so taxi drivers volunteered to pull their resources and offer support. Many warehouses of book companies were flooded, so many book lovers from across China contributed their bit to help these companies through the hard times. A few ordinary citizens bought food supplies and put up a pot to make noodles for flood victims as well as rescue crews. Confronted with natural disasters, helping others and a ready noble gesture only becomes even more valuable. It embodies how people cherish the lives of their own kind and stands for trust, selflessness, and righteousness. In the Chinese myth Niwa Bu Tian, a hole was poked in the sky, giving rise to heavy rain. After the hole was mended by a five-color stone, the rain stopped and the flood receded. Now while the heavy rain rages, we hope the five-color stone made up of the love of Chinese people would eventually mend the poked sky. Thank you for watching. I'm Xu Yi in Beijing.